everybody, it's Sam at Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these. They're perfect for hanging on the tree. So that's why I've called them hanging gift bags or hanging tree bags, whatever. But the ideas come from, some of you will probably remember those small little tree decorations with a little teddy bear inside and they would hang on the tree. And I saw them in the window of a charity shop and they weren't for sale, it was part of their display they were proper the old vintage ones from like the 70s and the 80s so the inspiration for those small style bags with the little bear in is you know led me to make this tutorial so I don't have any bears but I just thought the Christmas Tales Dovecraft collection would work really well to kind of recreate that that bag that I was going for so these are using two sheets of six by six so each side is from one piece and this is my favourite just because I love this scene. It's using the decoupage kit, which I've been using. I've kind of broken pieces down throughout this kind of crafting for Christmas this year. But here in this tutorial, I'm using them exactly how they're intended. And you can just see there. And then I've got this lovely little pipe cleaner um, wire for the handles. I have done them so they fold flat. I haven't done the scoring. I've just squashed them, you know, folded them down like that. They, they're so small and because it's a paper, it's very easy to do. But they're just so cute. What's the other one? I love that one. Look at that one there. It's really, really sweet. And I love that you've got the glitter in the cardstock as well. And um, you've got the little deer there as well. It's another nice one. So I've coordinated the toppers with the matching papers so they all tie in really well together. That's another nice one as well. All the dimension there with the, the holly. And then you've got Santa and the bunny there. And then that's a really nice one as well with that wreath. I really do like that one. I use that on my advent calendar and uh, yeah, it's just got such a nice look. So there they all are. So I've done six there, I think it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, so I'm going to show you one more with another of the pattern papers from the pack. Okay, so they're very quick to make. This is the pipe cleaners. These I've had, I had in my Christmas box from last year and I think I got them even the year before that and they were from a charity shop. But they're, they're thinner than the normal kind of skinny tinsel and um, they've got that wire through them so they're perfect for handles. So I'm just using one of those which is in length, it's 12 inches so I just fold it in half and then just snip the end. So six inches is what you want for your handle. But you don't need to use that, you can you know, use ribbon and you might not even want to have a handle on them. So this is the Christmas towel, so it's the six by six pad. So two pieces you want of six by six to make one of your little gift bags. So this is the other one that I've chosen, which is that nice one with Santa and the deer and his tree and the present. And then the topper to go with that one is this one here. Really, really sweet. Love it. And that's the sentiment that goes with it, so that'll just be stuck on the side. And that comes from the Christmas Tales decoupage kit. You get 24 sheets, three sheets of eight designs, glitter effect, die cut for easy assembly, and they're acid free. I loved the ones that we had last year, which were the Hell's Coupledage um, ones. It was the Christmas Village, I think. So, yeah, to see this one in that same kind of, I just love that kitsch vintage style I just think it's lovely so again I will link all this below things like this now you're starting to see reduced there's a lot of sales so yeah you might be able to pick them up and then you can always use them for next year which I know my mum usually does that she will buy her Christmas papers and everything in the sales ready for then Christmas next year okay so oh, I need my school board don't want to put that away so two pieces of six by six so make sure you got your if it's directional that it's facing the right way up and along one of the, the six inch side you're going to score it three and a half and you're going to score it five and a half and then rotate and you're going to score it two. You want to do that on two pieces. Then you are going to just fold and burnish all of the score lines. And then you just want to do a little bit of cutting so you should have a half inch tab on the right hand side. You're going to cut up that score line on the bottom up to the first score line. And then you're going to cut up that smaller one at the end to the first score line and just remove that piece completely. And then with this piece here, just cut a wedge out of. So I'll put the measurements for this bag in the title because it's always handy. You know, this isn't just for Christmas. You can do this in any of your papers. And um, then you've got that there for reference throughout the year if you've got any smaller gifts. This will work well for that. And then just cutting up the same with this one. Remove that. 
and then again I'm just going to take a little wedge off of there and off of there okay so that is all of the cutting that you need to do I'm going to do a little bit of gluing so I'm just using some glue on the side here you can use tape if you would prefer and you just want to line up always work on that base score line and then everything else should line up flip it over fold this one bring that piece over and stick that one down Okay, so now we've got something like this. Decide what you want to be the front or the back. It really doesn't matter for me. I'm going to fold down the back one and then I'm going to pop my Kalau now because I always say if you're unsure when to use what glues, for me the Kalau is what gives strength. So anywhere on the project that you're gluing you want there to be strength, then that's when I would recommend using the Kalau. So for your mats and layers, brilliant. For all your bases, of your gift bags and boxes, it's really, really good. If you've got tiny little tabs, maybe I wouldn't use the Kalau because it can come out quite heavy and it does spread very well. So that's why you'll see me chop and change and sometimes I go for this. And it's the Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue because it's got a very quick grab. Quicker than this one, it's almost instant. Um, so for those smaller areas, but I wouldn't do a large area with this because it's water-based so it will cause warping. But this is perfect for that. So. Yeah, I mean, more and more of you seem to be going for the Kalau and you message me and stuff and you're saying how much you love it. I do decant it as well into this smaller, it's an old tonic glue thing because it stops all that oozing out. I just find that in there, it comes in one of these, but it's all red and you just it seems to constantly get a lot of air and it's just, it will almost kind of erupt like a volcano. Sometimes it doesn't, but this I don't get that with it at all. So that's why you'll see that one in my videos so I've got the big um, a thousand mil bottle and I just decant it into that when I need to there is now the bag all done then all I'm going to do is squeeze in the sides okay and just keep squeezing all the way down push it all in like so and then as you squeeze it so it goes down like that just then decide which way you want it to fold back because that will then become the back and this area is now the front and there's your fold flat so it's very easy to do like that then I'm going to stick this on now I'm going to have to come up a little bit higher because I don't want the ribbon pieces there on the bottom to obviously catch and then the bag won't be able to stand up decoupage is very easy to make if you've never done it before you just start with your largest piece you obviously pop them all out start with the largest and then stick all of them on top until you've got the tiniest pieces last there's lots of videos on decoupage and I do have some last year where I use the decoupage kits and I show you in detail but um, it's pretty self-explanatory they are they're very very straightforward to use so that's that one and then I'm going to put my sentiment on once I put the handles on so I'm just going to pop it back out again and then if you just shape if you're using a wire just shape it into the handle shape something like that you can shape them again but it just helps you when you go to add your hot glue that and then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue at the bottom so I'm covering about a quarter of an inch just the, the ends there and then you just want to stick it down again about a quarter of an inch just make sure you've got it kind of as even as you can get it once it's cooled a little bit you can just go in there and stick it down even more okay it's one of the handles I'm just going to repeat the same on the back and then I want to add my little sentiment there. So I think I'm going to have it just tucked behind Santa's hat. So I'm just going to pop a little blob at the very bottom. It doesn't need much. And then kind of just hook it in about there. And there you have it. Really adorable little gift bag. Perfect for hanging on the tree. You could get a little Christmas bear or something sticking out the top. I think it will look adorable. So that's all of the little gift bags. This video is pretty much real time. I've only just, you know, speeded up some of the folding and stuff, but otherwise, yeah, very quick to make. So hope it's inspired you. Something you can do throughout the year anyway as well. It's not just, like I said, for Christmas. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you get to see more. See you later. Bye.